What's good, my beautifuls? I'm here today to present to you, Lady J. <laughs> I'm on that bullshit. I just woke up not too long ago, y'all. And, um, yeah. I was watching a little bit of the Monique on that, um, that big man show, I can't think of his name. I can't think of his name, and I don't want to call him what I was about to say, but. Damn, I forgot his fucking name. For, like, literally. But, yeah, you know, Monique, we been know Monique had got blackballed or whatever. And she been telling this same story for a minute. But now somebody set her down and was willing to talk to her about it. What is his name? That's what I'm trying What's to think. Name? Okay, Shay, his name is Shay Shay. I think that's what he just Anyway, me. it's called Club Shay Shay. I don't know his name. Pull my black card. I do not know his name. I don't watch, um, I think he's a, uh, a, a, a ex athlete or something. I don't know. But y'all know the same podcast that Cat Williams was on. She was on here. I didn't watch that whole two hours and something. I watched a 38 uh, minute clip and I thought I watched the whole damn thing. Then I soon realized two minutes after watching that it was two hours and something. Who about to sit there and watch somebody talk for two hours? Not I. Uh, mm -mm. Not I. I'm sorry. Mm -mm. It's not that important. If it was an important message, then yes, it's not that important. It's just some gossip. Um, a bitch got um, blackballed. Um, yeah. <laughs> no disrespect. No shade. It is what it is. What's his name? Shannon. Shannon. Oh, I was about to say Shannon Shay. So his name is Shannon, Shannon Sharp. Oh, okay. Uh, he was a football player or something? Yeah, they said something about football players. Okay, yeah. Um, so, yeah. I'm about to um, light this blunt up in a minute, y'all. Monique goes off on Lee Daniels, Tyler Perry, and Oprah. Okay, for y'all that don't know, let me go to this to see what she's talking about. You make somebody mad, they say whatever the fuck they want to say. Okay. Not the big Monique, but the little one. You know, she lost her weight. It's just a girl looking good, but it looked good on her. Okay, she went from big to thick as fuck. Uh, what else? It was something else. Hold up. Unapologetic and I'm unwavering about it. Because when I see this woman, Oprah Winfrey, about to like my blood, black woman, watch another black woman be thrown under the bus based off of a lie. What I won't do is be quiet. I won't go away. I won't back down. And so when she was offered an unfair deal by Netflix, she decided to push back. The office just didn't make sense. If we continue to accept these low offers, Netflix special, a comedy special. The problem is that other comedians, like, the English world, is that, like, she's... Get up on my face like that. Y'all can see world every world little black spot. Million, so money, every little fucking blemish. Find out it's half a million versus 11 million. Bad, bad. Unapologetic and I'm unwavering about it. Winfrey has been trending lately for all the wrong reasons after a report surfaced that she allegedly tried to blackball multiple celebrities who spoke out against her. 
Oh, I tried to eat the fucking egg roll. And it's around Yoli. It didn't have nothing to do with my baby cooking. The feud between Monique and Oprah the brand was not yet. And in her new interview with The Hollywood Reporter, Monique revealed that she still wants Oprah to issue a public apology. Despite winning an Oscar, nobody wanted to hire her anymore. And Monique realized she was being blackballed by Oprah. So when Oprah and Monique fell out after the release of Precious, Oprah decided to exploit and monetize Monique's story by inviting Gerald to her show. Monique later explained that the reason she felt so used and betrayed was because she previously told Oprah that her dad was an alcoholic and that she wasn't on speaking terms with her mom. And though it's been over a decade since all this went down, Monique recently told The Hollywood Reporter that she still wants a public I remember when I was younger, everywhere I went, I guess it was the way I used to wear my ponytails and shit. They used to always say, you like Monique, you like Monique. I'm like, they just said I look like Monique because I'm big. Because like, to me, I don't look shit like fucking Monique. Then my baby daddy started saying I look like Monique. Like, not you um, up here saying what the people saying that I'm saying they ain't true. You know, like, but low-key, you really do. It's the way you present yourself, the way you carry yourself. <sighs> Whatever, nigga. But anyway, I always love me some money. She played in Precious. She played the hell out that movie. Y'all, when that movie came mm -hmm. out, my mama did not like that movie, and she was mad because I wanted to watch it. And it was like, no lie. That movie right there, if anybody know Precious, that was me and my mother relationship. That was us to, that was especially her. That was her to the T. I ain't gonna lie, that was me too. But still in that chicken part, no. Getting um, <laughs> raped by my mama boyfriend, no. Nah, that too didn't apply, but everything else did. Yeah. The TV yeah. part too? What, what about the TV part? What's she was about to throw the TV on Precious? Shit, I got my ass beat with a broom. I had high heels thrown at me. I probably got popped with a skillet, a mop stick. You said what? She got the baby on her hands when she was on those stairs. I told you when I got popped when I was asleep. Um, I was pregnant. I was probably like four, four to six months pregnant. And I was asleep. All I know, my mama came in there and beat me with a broom. All I knew to do was turn on my stomach. And I was on my stomach like this on the bed. And she whacking the fuck out of me and talking shit at the same time. Didn't I tell you to um, clean the motherfucking dishes? I'm like, no. She getting harder. I did tell you to wash them up. You didn't tell me to wash no dishes. If you were told me to wash, the type of child I was growing up, my mama said do something. I didn't like to do it. But I got to it. If she would have told me to wash them dishes, I would have washed them dishes. She told my bitch, you will come here and take your motherfucking ass to sleep after I told you to wash them dishes. First of all, it wasn't no dramatic... Oh, I'm pregnant. I'm sleepy. No, uh, you know my my favorite word is bitch. It's no disrespect, but bitch, you know motherfucking well. <laughs> I'm pregnant. I'm sleepy. Like yeah, it's not your fault that I was pregnant at seventeen. But hey, I was pregnant and I wanted to fucking go to sleep. Uh, I don't know shit about no dishes. If you said that, I probably was um, dozing off and I didn't comprehend or something. I don't know. But anyway, I got my ass about that bed and was washing the dishes about 3, 4 o'clock in the goddamn morning. Um, so, TV, no, she ain't never tried to hit me with no TV. But she ain't probably hit me with my uh, stitching cords, um, switches off the tree. Um, my granny had went, my grandma had went and bought a stick just to beat our ass. We called that motherfucker a 2 by 4 I don't know what the stick was. It was a big, it thick. It went super big. It was like... You know, whooping. It was like, it was thick. It wasn't like big, gigantic, but it was kind of thick. It was narrow. And that motherfucker was hard. My mama even beat my ass with that. Go, go get grandma's stick from the back porch. Boy, I used to get my ass a beat. I wasn't even a bad kid like that. I don't understand. It all was because she had anger issues. But anyway, this is nor here or there. This is not what I came here for. So... Anyway, like I said, that Precious movie, I really, and deep down in my heart, when I first watched that movie, I felt like somebody took my story and, and put it out there and got paid off of it. And to this day, I still feel like that's my story, and it's just a little traumatized. Dramatized, whatever the fuck, yeah. 
because it's not obviously completely accurate, but it's there. <clears throat> she did not like that movie for a reason. And she probably seen herself in the movie too, from how she claimed my grandmother treated her. I don't know. Anyway, I know that motherfucker relates to me. So anyway, um, she had did that shit. She did Precious. And after Monique did Precious, I don't know what the fuck went up. What happened after that? But I know she didn't get paid correctly for the start that she was. But... One thing I can say, but I don't know shit about the industry. But one thing I can say, the main character was Precious. Monique wasn't the main character. So I believe she said she got paid $50,000 off that movie. And then after that, which is, um, what's his name? They just said the nigga, I mean, they just said the man's name. Uh, Daniel something. Because I thought that was a Tyler Perry movie. Lee Daniels, but that was a Lee Daniels movie. Um, and I'm gonna say allegedly all this shit is true. I don't know what's true, what's fake, um, uh, none of that. True or false, I don't know. It's alleged. So, allegedly, um, after she did that, they had wanted her to go to some event, like I guess the premiere or something, but they weren't paying all her fees. See, I've been keeping up with all this shit that she been saying for a minute. Whether she said all this on the show or not, I don't know, but y'all got two hours to listen to it if y'all choose. Or y'all can just glimpse through little videos and piece that shit together from YouTube. So, anyway, she said they didn't want to pay all her traveling expenses and everything else to get to the premiere, so she didn't go or whatever. And then after that, it's like, I don't know, they all in cahoots. Almost sound like Coons, but, um, Tyler Perry, Oprah Winfrey, and Lee Daniels are all in cahoots. They team players. They work together. Who is the main motherfucker that's doing all this with them? I don't know, but I don't assume he's black or she's black. They have a master. It seems, I'm not trying to be prejudiced. But the way all this allegedly seems, <laughs> the way this story allegedly seems, like, they look up to head Puncho, and it's like, from what's being said, it's obviously not a sister or a brother. Black power, I'm black and I'm proud. It's Black History Month, y'all. February, we get one month, but hey, we got it. Um, but you still supposed to live life every day proud of who the fuck you are. Black, brown, or white. But this about us right now. So, anywho. She said they wanted her to do some things for a little change or a little to nothing. Meaning free. And she was like, no. But in her terms, free probably was a little money. And she probably considered that as like, say, for instance, they said $10,000 to her. That's free. Do you know who the fuck I am, bitch? I am Monique. I'm not doing that for no motherfucking 10. So, Monique have her husband. Very intelligent black man behind her. I'm not going to speak too highly on him because I don't know too much. But from what it seems, from her perspectives, she got her a good goddamn man. And what matters is what uh, matters to her. Fuck what everybody else saying. That's they life. If she love it, I love it. She got her a good damn man from what I can see. I wish I had one. I wish I had me a husband that uh knew how to take care of business. Be a leader. <laughs> okay? Ain't nothing wrong with a woman being a leader too. But when you got your man there, you let your man do what a man got to do if he on that man type shit. You're so good, I won't have no problem with it. Like, uh, I know I'm getting a little bit off subject. But I'm still on the character. Um, what's the little... She's a little younger than her. What's her name? We was just talking about her. The one she had clapped no. back on? No. no um, 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 um. Damn. So she clapped back on um little chick. I'm going to think of her name in a minute. 
fuck? She had went with, um, with, um, Kami. Her and Kami was dating for a while. Damn, I can't think of her name. You just was talking about the girl. So, anyway, she had caught herself saying some shit about Monique Husband. Hello, Stella. How you doing? So, y'all didn't see that. So, um, she had said, girl, don't try to talk shit and then walk off the stairs. So, um, what happened? So, she came for Monique Husband pretty much saying, like, she glad she ain't got no um, husband like Monique or some shit. And Monique clapped back and had said, um, no shade. But since you came for my husband by saying you glad you don't have a husband like mine, maybe you should have had a husband like mine. Maybe you wouldn't have them, um, or if you had a husband like mine or some shit, you wouldn't have them two, two DOIs you have, and you wouldn't be looking like you grooming on children. Hmm, okay. She said, my husband ought to keep me in check the way he needs to keep me in check, the way he know how he need to keep me in check. And the way I allow him, because I know I need that checkmate, bitch. So, <laughs> that's that on that. Tiffany Haddish. Tiffany Haddish has spoke. Um, I don't even know what was the reason. I don't know. But that's what I know that was said, so that's what I said. So, anywho, back on Girl, please. Back on um, Monique and her little shit. Them balling her. Blackballing her. It's pretty much like... Oh, and somewhere, Steve Harvey got some play up in this, too. Not specifically sure on what. And Kevin Hart got a little bit of something. To do. Now, Kevin Hart is fucked up, and it, and it made sense to what was going on. Now she want to come in my room. Get your ass out of here. So, Kevin Hart had helped her out some kind of way. He had gave her some money or whatever that she did not ask for. He helped her out. And I and I really pre pretty much believe this is true because he did it with Tiffany Haddish too when he found out she was home in the seat in her car. They both confirmed that to be true. So, he gave Monique some money or whatever, you know, for her to get on her feet. Um... You know, pretty much put her back together type shit. So, she must have was going through a little hurdle. And he knew. And he reached out. So, she accepted it. She thanked him. And she reimbursed him back. And then she said that he was supposed to help her some type of way. But then, all of a sudden, his manager. Not black skin. <laughs> had went and told somebody that. Kevin is not working with Monique. So when Monique found out that information, she instantly called Kevin to ask him what was this that his manager had told whoever else. And he said, oh, it was all a misunderstanding. I'm going to get back in contact with you. She said it have been two years since she last talked to him. I believe he wanted to do the good thing and look out for his sister. But he realized that she's blackballed in the industry. And his manager, whoever this person is, must have told him the repercussions of working with her and he had no choice but to back back. But I mean, he can't fuck up his career due to her. He did what he could do. That's understandable. But the fact of these people can't be themselves, stand ten toes down and do what the fuck they wanna feel the fuck they wanna do what they feel is right is a little crazy to me. So in between the three hermits, Lee Daniels, Tyler Perry, and Oprah, somewhere up in there, she didn't got bad mouth, and I believe it's all due to Tyler. She didn't got bad mouth, and it went around. So now nobody wants to fuck with her because of what one person said. How the fuck Steve Harvey getting involved? I don't recall. But. Look at her. She want to go because she like, bitch, you got me too close. But, um. Mm -hmm. Let's listen to this right here. Y'all doing too much. Stop. Girl, she throw up. <laughs> that was not funny. You okay? I hope I could find it, y'all. It was funny. I'm like, sad. You okay? 
Here we go. Okay, so listen to this. None of y'all in real time was strong enough to go publicly and say we can't put our sister said. under the bus. When you tell the truth, you have to deal with the repercussions of the truth. We black out here. We can't come out here and do it any kind of way we want to. Let me let's the money game. This ain't the black man's game. This ain't the white man's game. It's this the is the money, money game. game. And we cannot sacrifice game. yourself. But the best thing you can do for poor people is not be one For the money game, it's called the integrity game. And we've lost the integrity worrying about the money. One more. And we're I cannot, for the sake of my integrity, so I can make a statement. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? I'll be all the monkey you can stand. <laughs> be picking shit off me looking at it? I be digging in my ass. I haven't told you it won't go wear no dress until they offered him the dress and then he put it on. Would you do some shit like this for four million or ten million dollars like these men would? And if we're just like them, Jamie we're Fox, not worth submitting to. Martin Williams. None of y'all in real time Hart, was strong enough. Ricky to go Smiley. And say we can't throw Tyler our Perry. under the bus. When you tell the all put on a dress for fame. They all put on a dress to get that money. First of all, Tom Curry's gay, so. <laughs> We don't know that. But then again, all these black men that put on the dress, the person that who wanted to see them in the dress, might have had them dressing up for their own fetish. Or they did a little something and they still wanted to see them in that dress. They go to the they said this nigga was lying, but I don't know. What's that light skinned nigga name that um be in the Tyler Perry um place? I don't know his name, but I know who you're talking about. Yeah, well he came out saying a little something, but he didn't say who the person was. Everybody just knowing that he talking about Tyler Perry. First of all, how they know he's lying? I don't know. It was something I was watching. They said something about he was lying, and you know that you ain't seen nothing else of him. Cause he said the shit is private, so they ain't gonna move. Yeah, because he got an open case. Yeah, so it's like. So I get. Where Steve coming from, where he said, this ain't no color game, this is a money game. Monique said, it's a money game, but it's also a terrorgy, a ter- I can't say the name, y'all heard what she said. It's about, um, your pride. You feel me? It's a pride game. Like, I don't know. Y'all know everything that comes with integrity. So, <laughs> I have to say that shit slow to get it out, bitch. I can't say it again. So, I understand what he's saying. It's a money game. We out here trying to live. We trying to motherfucking survive. And at this point, in the game that they're in, they have a lifestyle. They got to keep up with that lifestyle. You feel me? So, they got to do what they going to do for their little change. Whether it's a big amount or a smaller amount, I'm still going to do it to get that amount. And I keep doing it. I'm going to keep stacking. And that's what they go and that's what they doing. Monique like, fuck all that. You're not going to just do me any old kind of way. And the fact that y'all sitting up here allowing these people to do y'all any old kind of way is beyond me. And I thought y'all was staying up for me, but Monique, how you thought that when obviously they going along with the game? Who dumbass? They going along with the money game. If I, I, I believe she was paying attention. She heard exactly what um Baldy was saying, what's his fucking name? Steve Harvey. She, she heard exactly what he said, money game, but she was trying to put her point across. But the thing of it is, he got your point. He worried if you getting his point, because he feel if you getting his point, and then you will shut the fuck up and just get the money. But her husband and her is not playing that game. She already a prideful woman. And she got her a motherfucking king behind her, you feel me? So that king is making sure that his woman pride stay there and nobody step over her. She said he ain't the type that sugarcoat shit, beat around the bush. He the type that want to be direct and get straight to the motherfucking point. And they don't like that about him because there ain't no talking him down about nothing. Because he's standing ten toes down on business. And that's why Ty probably want him not be there. Yeah. So he, Tyler Perry said he was going to apologize to Monique. But instead, he came out publicly and said he wanted an apology from Monique. And Monique was like, what am I giving you an apology for? Where is my apology? Could we work on that that you said you was giving me that she got recorded? Child, I want the money, but I won't be a fool. 
Don't give me the fame, but let them know who the fuck I am. <laughs> you feel me? I don't want rich people problems. No. I will not sell my soul. Now, I'll be trying to tell everybody that believe in the Illuminati. The Illuminati do exist, but it's not demonic as you may seem. But Illuminati is demonic. Ain't nobody doing no devil worshiping and all this other crazy ass shit how you want to make it seem. But these people that's part of the Illuminati, how they do that shit? It's a triangle. They do that shit. This shit, triangle, whatever. That's the Illuminati meaning we got money, we got power, and we going to do whatever the fuck we want to do. And we may do whatever the fuck we got to do. Depending on who you are, that's a lot of shit you got to do to get them change, them little coins, to get them changed, to get them coins. So, how they say it's a lot of celebrities in the industry that do sex trafficking and shit like that. That's the money and power. Is they ever going to get blackmailed? Is they ever going to get blackballed? As long as they obey, obey. And a lot of them are probably not even in this shit because they want to. It's not a choice. Some of them probably was forced into it because of their surroundings and who they was de- who they dealing with. Because I don't believe everybody in the game go through this. It depends on who you... Surround yourself around. How big is your money? What is you willing to do for it? Because a lot of people that's big could be even bigger if they join who they need to join. The Illuminati. We gonna never, we ain't gonna never know who. I mean, we know who's a part of it. Trust and believe we do. But we don't know who the ring leader of it. Oh, but one thing for sure. The main leader. Is money. Money got these motherfuckers going wild. The president would do it to you. Hmm. First of all, they definitely gonna say who it is because they're gonna get killed for saying who that person is. It's the it's the way how money operates. It's the way how basically the government and federal have a way of issuing that money out to everybody. Hmm. <laughs> if you if you give me the politics, baby, I might get myself killed. <laughs> the way I want to politic and get deep down into some shit, but let me continue to seem like I don't know shit and I'm not making no sense, okay? Pipe myself down. The fuck? Hmm. First of all. Let me pipe myself down. Let me not go too far into some shit. And remind you, the president don't run shit. The president just a face to tell the people what the people need to know. Or what the people, not even what the people need to know, what the people should know. What we want the people to know, basically. We not knowing every motherfucking thing. But I guarantee you, if you got some good goddamn common sense, you close. They not, not on point, but you close. Close to the motherfucker. I'm one of them. I'm close. But I ain't gonna never motherfucker get out here in politics. I'm not about that life. Because it's my video. Hold up. Because it's my video. But what you gotta say, little mama? I'm itching. But oh, I, I thought you were trying to say something. And, but I was like, something. I was like, itching to talk. They don't. Basically, person don't come with that shit in their head like that. They getting told what to say. Mm-hmm. So they. They getting told what to say and make what the people want to hear. Trust and believe when you watch these movies and shit like that. Don't think this shit not true like Olivia. When she was fucking around with that prison and we kind of get on. I felt like that was the deepest of anything I've ever seen. That was the deepest that you would get into the White House. Of how shit operate. Not just that. Wait, did you have a very good time of how the White House operate. We ain't talking about the main check. Remember, it was a safe a safe house. Remember, it was a safe house in Olivia for the White House. 
of the of the main operators. Like the president will get safe, but his family won't. Hmm. The the president will get safe, saved, but his family won't. Let that sit on your hand. Think about it. What you was gonna say? And um, uh, it was one time. It was a girl. Well, it was a whole bunch of people. But basically, it was Oprah Winfrey. Oprah Winfrey was doing the party. I guess the girl had to pee, and basically, Oprah Winfrey was not letting nobody in. But except for like the motherfuckers she know, like the people that you know that got the money, like Tyler Perry. I forgot who the girl was that told it, but she said like Tyler Perry and some other people went in the house. First of all, you gotta you gotta think smart. That bitch is hiding shit in her house. I heard to the Playboy Mansion. I think I said this before in the video. Mm -hmm. Um, to the Playboy Mansion, supposedly there are tunnels. Underground tunnels, obviously tunnels, underground, to the mansion that leads to celebrity houses, and Oprah is one of them. You know what fucking um, triggered my head that I didn't know shit about? I was up here watching a goddamn YouTuber. What's her name? The gay one. The little short one with the big nose. She always going to travel and go try a different food. Damn. Um, and she fucking with her, um, with her manager or some shit? Rolling K. Oh. I was watching Rolling K, and she was traveling, going to go eat some food. She was in the uh, boat oh. or whatever, and she, um, was going past this island. And she said the name of the island, and I can't recall no name. 